Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some pan or chocolat. Put all your dry ingredients in a large bowl and add your milk and stir. Stir with a wooden spoon until it reaches a dough consistency and you can't use your wooden spoon anymore. And then put your wooden spoon to one side and knead with your hands. Sprinkle some flour onto your work surface and then put your dough onto it and carry on kneading. When it starts to get sticky, add some vegetable oil onto your work surface and keep kneading until it is nice and smooth. Put your dough back into the bowl and cover with cling film and let it rise until it has doubled in size, which can take about an hour, but it just depends how warm your room is. While it is rising, get your butter and put it between two pieces of cling film and roll it until it's nice and flat. When your dough has risen, knock back the air with your fist while it's in the bowl and then put some flour onto your work surface and put your dough on it and start rolling it into a rectangle. Unwrap your butter and then put it in the middle of your dough. Try and leave equal amounts of, of dough from the top and the bottom. First fold the sides on top of the butter to seal in the butter and then fold the top part of the dough to cover the butter and then the, the bottom part of the dough. Turn your dough and then start rolling it out back into the original size rectangle. Fold the bottom of the dough to the middle and then fold over the top part to cover the bottom part and then turn your dough and then roll it again. Roll it to the same size as the dough that it was the first time and then get a piece of cling film and put your dough onto it and then put it in the fridge until it is very cold. Get it out of the fridge and then roll it one more time and then divide the dough into two. Put one half to the side and then roll the other half until it's a bit thin and then use a knife to cut out uh, rectangles. Cut a piece of chocolate and then put it inside your dough and roll it up. Put it seam side down so that it doesn't unroll while they're baking. When you've got all your pieces, get your prepared baking tray and put them all on there. Brush them with butter and then cover them and let them rise again until doubled in size. When they've risen, bake them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until nice and brown. Remove from the oven and then put them on the cooling rack to cool completely. This is what they look like while they're still nice and hot. But to get those nice even layers, wait for them to cool down and then cut them up and eat. They'll be nice and crispy. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. For recipe amounts, click in the description below.